Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Doka Metal video. In this video we're going to be taking a look at the summoning banners for the world tournament. So these are the ticket banners for the world tournament. Now as you guys know throughout the history of the world tournaments there's traditionally been three banners. The two guaranteed SSR banners, one of which features world tournament rewards units and the other one featuring a selection of general banner units. And then you also have the World Tournament only units that are the special World Tournament units that come out during the course of a World Tournament. Uh, and yeah, obviously there's yeah, a mix, I would say, of both. Personally speaking, with the advent of the EZAs for World Tournament units and World Tournament banner units, the value of the guaranteed SSR banner dips quite significantly. Now one thing I will say is that a copy of each of these guaranteed SSRs is currently available from completing the missions, but honestly speaking, it is difficult to kind of vouch for you know, not something on this banner because now with these units potentially getting easy A's and with the easy A's being brought in line, you probably have more chance of these units being incredibly strong uh, after their EZA and happening more frequently than actual general banner units because these units you know they will eventually EZA within the line with the world tournaments whereas general banner units could just EZA at any given time uh, not necessarily in relation to DFEs or things like that so obviously to take a look at the guaranteed SSR banner you know quite frankly it's decent but honestly there's nothing too spectacular here you have two solid vegeta options who are both uh, kind of pseudo floating support units which is obviously relatively decent uh, but then you also obviously have the blue vegetas uh, so you have the uh, physical you know super saiyan god blue vegeta who's a physical buff unit you have the blue one who's master evolution unit and you have the red one who is a realm of the gods based unit so obviously you have you know i want to say a decent selection i've used these vegetas to complete things like uh epic collection of battle stages so i don't want to disrespect these units i think you know with their easy a's they're all perfectly fine options uh, on their teams but they aren't necessarily special you can pick these units up at any given time Whereas the other units are all massively restricted to world tournaments. This for me kind of increases their value uh, quite significantly. And now the fact that they can easy A to actually be usable within content also kind of increases their value as well. So we sit in a situation where we have uh, quite a few units that I think now have massively jumped in value and the tickets themselves for those banners thus become far more valuable to be spent on the world tournament rewards banner uh, you know if you just look at all of the units uh, for example goku becomes a great legendary existence lead he gives all allies 25 percent attack and defense he gives legendary existence characters and more attack and defense uh, he has very solid defense himself uh, he also has a high chance of critting when there's a freezer enemy when we look at bardock Bardock is a you know a very interesting unit. He has the ability to kind of perform better based off of you know strength and AGL orbs. And you have Gohan who's a very, very good support. I mean he supports AGL tech and physical type units, which is really solid. And then he's great as a third attacker in the turn. So yeah, Gohan's great. And the fact that he supports so many other Gohans and just does so many other things I think is really fantastic so yeah honestly he's really 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 solid um, and I think overall a lot of the units here are solid even Tech Gotenks got a great awakening uh, strength Goku Black okay maybe not the greatest awakening but now you know that he will be in line to receive an easy A in future same as AGL Pan and with that notion, with this concept of extreme zero awakenings happening, these units have much more scheduled and you know, readily available scalability being added to them. Now, obviously, I'm not saying all of them are amazing, but I think there's generally an option here. And obviously, there's a grind that's needed to even 
you know, push these guys to another bracket to easy a them you have to grind as well but i just think there's more value then in procuring these limited time units rather than general banner units now of course there could be a general banner that's exceptional and so i'll always assess the options and give people my opinion but i would say this world tournament right now if you are interested i would say someone on the world tournament rewards banner but with that being said you do get a free dupe from the missions so you also don't need to summon this banner and you can save your tickets. Uh, maybe for a banner where you have more of the other options that you don't have. Yeah, maybe you've got Pan, maybe you've got Android 18, maybe you've got you know, uh, Goku Black. So you don't need to summon on this one. In terms of the World Tournament Unit banner, I think just save. Goku is pretty good. I like his Doken Awakening. And Goku Youth's Easy A looks okay. But I wouldn't say there's anything here specifically to summon on. I think Anin's the best alongside Goku. But honestly, I wouldn't summon on it. I would just wait uh, for the ticket conversion process and maybe just look at the next one. So right now, if you're going to summon on anything, I would say summon on the World Tournament Rewards banner. Uh, the one with Gohan and Bardock and Goku. But only if you specifically want one of those three to easy air. And I would suggest tech Super Saiyan to Gohan. Uh, as he looks like the best option. That's it from me. Bye.